Hello and welcome to this week's screencast. My name is Spencer, also known as Island Dog. And this week I wanted to take you through a quick tour of Cursor FX. Cursor FX is the uh, solution you can use to change the Windows cursors in Windows XP and Vista. Cursor FX replaces the ever popular Cursor XP, which has been around for quite a while and was very, very popular for changing your Windows cursors. Uh, Cursor FX is a free download, um, there's a free version. And there's also a Cursor FX Plus, which is an enhanced version for around $20, and that gives you um, all the features of the free version plus many more, uh, like special effects, uh, colorization of the cursors, transparency, um, trail effects, things like that, a bunch more good stuff. But today I just wanted to show you real quick how you can easily change your uh, cursors. If you have a bunch of cursors, cursors left over from a Cursor XP, it's no problem. Cursor FX will be able to use them as well. Uh, if you download one from sites like WinCustomize, uh, simply double click it and it will load and it will apply to Cursor FX. You can see here, it's uh, this is the organic cursor. It's pretty cool. And you can see there's plenty more to choose from. Some of them have some really crazy animations. Uh, you click the little magnifying glass here. You can get a full preview of all the cursor states. You can see the animations here, just uh, phenomenal. And there's all types of cursors available from minimalistic ones to uh, just uh, really crazy designs. Uh, one of my favorites is this one right here. Got a really interesting design, really cool. Well, let me switch back to another one just to show you some stuff here. Alright, like I say, you just double click here, also in your in the menu here, and it'll just change your cursor. And with Cursor FX Plus, you also get things like effects. So if you want to add, um, you can see the previews of the effects here. So we'll just add one. So for the, I can select which uh, mouse action to apply it to. I'll just do it for the regular left, mount, the left button. And we'll add the blue circle. Click Apply. And you see every time I click the left button, it's going to have those effects. And you can assign them to different uh, different cursor effects, and there's plenty more here. And there's other ones available for download. And we'll just switch it back. And there's also trails are available, so we'll just add the blue ones here. Click Apply. And as you see, every time I move the cursor around, I got the trails following the cursor. And there's quite a few included, and there's also many more you can download from sites like WinCustomize.com. You can click more cursors and uh, click here and take you directly to the Cursor FX library. And the settings, these are more settings that a lot of them apply to Cursor FX Plus. Like you can vary the size. Uh, if you want a, a bigger cursor, just increase it, and there you have it. You can adjust it. We can also adjust the transparency. Let's make the cursor pretty tra pretty transparent. You see, we got transparency now for this, and we can also mess around with the hue and the brightness and the contrast and uh, change the colors, which is really good for uh, if you like a certain cursor theme but it doesn't match your uh, window blind skin or something like that you're using. Then you can just uh, change the color to what you want. Look at that—a complete change. Looks really good. And you just click reset and get back to the original cursor. So that's a quick rundown of Cursor FX. Like I said, it's a free download. The uh, Cursor FX Plus uh, adds a bunch of new features. Some of them we could quickly touched on today. Uh, for more information, you can go to CursorFX.com. And I will see you next week.